Hello everyone, this is Chris9017, and I just caught a yellow sack spider. Yeah. There. Oh, there he goes. He's hidden within the tape. Oh, now he's at the bottom. Yeah. It is often these spiders that are, um, the ones that bite you and are blamed, and the brown recluse spider is blamed. But yellow sack spiders have been known to bite more people than any other spider. They get more bites than any other spider does in the U.S. Yellow sack spiders are really, really common here in California, and they're very common in people's homes. So please be on the alert. The spider is um, very light yellow. You can't see very well over here, but... Yeah, the lighting here is not so good. There it is. Yeah, if you look carefully, it's a very, very yellow. Yeah, very yellow. The fa area around the fangs and mouth bit is a bit more brown. Yeah, the spider is relatively small to medium. Yeah, there he is. I got him tape taped in with a coaster and uh, some tape inside the glass to keep them from uh, wandering uh, wandering around to um, from biting me or uh, Kaylee or anybody else in the house because uh, a bite can probably um, a dog may probably die within hours from this bite and uh, though I'm not really for sure and uh, yeah it could leave some of us in agony so I don't really want to risk it Tomorrow morning, I'll tr see uh, about releasing the, the spider. Yeah. I normally don't like to kill spiders because I know they're really important to our environment. So I hope he manages to uh, survive through the night so I can uh, release him in the morning tomorrow. Yeah. What are the symptoms from the bite? You might get some mild flu symptoms, which would include nausea, vomiting, and dry mouth. And, uh, you might also get, a uh, an open wound sore and some dead tissue that could probably take weeks to heal. Unlike the brown recluse, which really destroys tissue, this only destroys some tissue, but yet most people recover without antivenom. Antivenom is not available for the spider, but there is a treatment uh, from uh, the brown recluse that can uh, be pretty effective if the spider bites you. It's a very beautiful spider. I haven't seen many uh, spiders that are very yellow like this. Like a yellow sack, I mean. Yeah, see? These spiders are not really... They're not really aggressive. They're not really aggressive. They would rather flee than uh, than bite people. They're not at all like the Brazilian wandering or Sydney funnel webs, which have uh, been known to bite no matter what. They'll bite at nothing. Compared to these, these would rather run. Yeah, they're very reluctant to use their venom because they'd rather use it on food than um, than using for self-defense. They will only bite as a very last resort if you've cornered it. Like if I were to put my hand and have it like the way I am now, but except I'm outside the glass. If I were to do something like this, then he'd probably bite me. But um, other than that, he would mostly try to run. He'll try to run and conserve his venom because he needs that venom to catch his food. Yeah. Spiders are pretty intelligent creatures. They're very beautiful, too. There are very beautiful spiders here in the Bay Area. In fact, I think the black widow spider is pretty beautiful. The brown recluse, though I, which I hate to admit it, is also can also be a beautiful spider. There are many spiders that are pretty be beautiful. A lot of tarantulas. A lot of uh, garden spiders. Many spiders are pretty beautiful. It depends on how we see them. 
most people would freak out if they see a spider, even one as small as this. Or Daddy Long Legs will freak out, but... I don't really fear them. When I was young, I used to be scared to death of spiders, but not so much anymore. Because I... My fear is more turned into a fascination for these spiders, and I have much more of an appreciation for spiders and what they do for us. Spiders have killed hundreds of us, but we kill millions of them each year. The phone web has killed 13 people over the last, um, since 1927. It probably killed more than that before 1927. The wandering spider has killed uh, a huge number of people. The black widow has killed a lot of people. Brown recluse spiders have killed people. But not the yellow sack. Or at least I think. Yet we still kill them. But many people fear them. I think spiders are wonderful. They're beautiful, and they really do a lot for us. <laughs> the spider looks like he's uh, getting in threat posture. Oh, wait. Possibly he's grooming his front legs. They're very intelligent creatures for their small size. Very fast moving. Honestly, I'm glad I see a yellow sack and not a brown recluse. I was bitten by the Chilean recluse on my hand here. Ugh. Yeah, it's, I was bitten there at age 10, and it still hasn't fully recovered from the brown recluse. Don't take that spider lightly. Take it seriously, and get medical attention immediately. If you're bitten by this, the best thing you can do is uh, put some ice on it, on the wound and uh, go to a doctor and get some antibiotics. Worst case scenario, get the brown recluse spider treatment, which uh, is coming from Ohio, but only in a worst case scenario, if it's like an emergency. If you're wondering why sacs uh, are called spa sac spiders, it's because of their tubular shaped webs. They're about an inch long and position between angle surfaces, which is why they're called sack spiders, because the webs look like sacks. The sacks are used as retreats. That is, the spider rests in them by day and emerge at night to wander and search for prey. So right now it's uh, yeah, about 11 o'clock at night, and... Um, the spider was uh, probably searching for food. Then again, we recently had a uh, Clark Pest Control just spray outside, and it's possibly probably destroyed the spider's home. So one, the spider was looking for shelter and to get out of the hot weather since it's pretty hot outside, and two, he was looking for food. Ah, take one more look at the spider. I'm not doing a huge favor for those who are arachnophobes out there, but I hope I'm doing a favor for spider lovers out there. I plan to release him tomorrow morning. I hope he makes it through the night, that way I can release him tomorrow morning. The reason why I can't, I, I'm not releasing him now is because I tried releasing him, but he just wouldn't come out, so hopefully tomorrow he changes his mind and we'll go. This is Chris9017, out.